What is up guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on 3D Kanjo Real Girl, or Real Girl. This episode is by far the nicest, sweetest, probably overall best episode of the series. It's like, if it ended right now, I would be okay with that. I think this felt like an ending episode more than anything because there was a lot of reflection on both... Uh, Setsui and we had uh, Igarashi at the end with her reflecting on the way she saw things how things played out in her past uh, but overall it was a very good episode we had a little bit of everybody in here I really would have wanted to watch more of Takanashi and uh, Ishino but I'm sure that maybe in like next episode we'll probably get some about them uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about them later but I really enjoyed like the beginning where it was kind of comical the way Setsui was trying to I guess process everything and having his kind of his imagination kind of work here and then realizing what he had to do uh, and I, I will say that at the time where he had to give his answer to uh, Ayato it was really I don't know it was very weird uh, he had he, he had it set up to where it was like he wanted uh, Igarashi to listen to him and say all these things. But at the same time, it's like he didn't want to. He caught both of them by surprise. Uh, he told Ayato the best way that he could how he saw things. You know, firstly, he was very thankful to her for having the feelings that he did, that she did for him. Uh, that this was like the first time for him. Uh, he had a difficult time processing everything because he he didn't know how to turn it down uh, it's uh, it's i hate having person putting my personal experience in here but i've only had a couple of people confess to me that they like me uh, in my lifetime uh, very few have has that like ever happened and it's it's weird you know because i've i've had to be in this position you know i've had to be in the position where i've had to do that myself or it's like Thank you, but no, I, I I appreciate it, but no. But in in the <laughs> going back to the series, it, it's like Setsui was trying to make it like as I don't want to say as he didn't want to make it hurtful, but he definitely wanted to uh, try to kind of ease things in, and then in like one fell swoop, he got Igarashi and said. That this is the person that I love is that suffice for an answer so it was kind of really slow and then unexpectedly it just goes boom full blast you know like look thank you but her you know I'm here I want to protect her I want to make our, our relationship stronger uh, and he made he made Igarashi hear that maybe because he wanted her to like really truly believe what he was saying Ayato uh, well it was kind of tough for me personally, uh, for to watch this because it was like, despite Ayato being a disruption, dis despite being the way that she may give off, I still like her. I really do. She wanted to take an opportunity and uh, she didn't seize it. I mean, I mean, she tried to seize it, but it just it didn't work out well. I mean, and good for Setsui for at least resolving it. And it smoothed out in the end. It worked out. Ayato understood. She was very at least to my understanding she seemed very you know okay with it uh, we have ito kind of cheering her up uh, he was trying to do the best that he can to make her feel better uh, but while that was happening we had literally a kiss and makeup session with igarashi and setsui which i i enjoyed uh they they hadn't kissed in a while and it was it was very appealing to the eye, honestly. I, I liked the the colorful, the, how bright it was, um, and he he really stepped up there. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, but back to Ito and uh, Ayato, they were being picked on by freshmen while they were having their moment. And again, MVP Ishino comes in here and just like saying, you know, leave them alone. Like you know, these guys are you're fine. You know, you know, basically fuck off. But then they don't really take the hint until Takanashi shows up and just they, they they take you know they realize oh we gotta go uh, but I do feel bad for Ishino I think she really needs 
some shine again. Uh, we haven't really seen her really do much of anything other than, you know, be the good friend. Uh, I want to see her get together with Takanashi or somebody, which I'm sure will happen. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with her now. It's like everyone is kind of finding their place in the group and it's working out very well. Uh, and speaking of working things out, we had Ito and Setsui kind of fix things. Uh, not that they were necessarily messed up or broken or anything. It's just that they had their differences and uh, they both apologized for them and decided to, you know, well, Setsui decided to, you know, hey, you know, come over and, you know, hang out. And, you know, his little brother was really just having fun with him and kind of hogged him to himself. Uh, Ito was too tired to talk to Setsui, who originally wanted him to just talk to him at night, you know, finally have an open conversation with a bro who could relate to his feelings, and he, he, he wasn't able to, which was fine. I'm sure that at some point, we'll, we may or may not see that conversation, but it was cool. He also said out loud that he had feelings for a girl. He didn't say who, but it would have been cool if Ito would have went out and said it. But then we had the next day where I, I was kind of surprised, like, oh, Igarashi has a new hairstyle, but it was nothing more than her recapping everything that's happened to her. Uh, it was really kind of gross to see, like, young guys and then older men. I was like, what the heck? I was like, all these people confessing the thing that they loved her, they loved her. And she has very good looks. I mean, she's definitely a, a very good-looking character. But it's like no one really knew anything about her. And she wanted people to know about her. And she, when when people were asking her what they like about her she would just you know they would say uh well you talk to turtles and that's cute and like if i was a girl or if anyone said that to me in general i was like the hell what why is why is what, talking to turtles something that you should worry about you know <laughs> but it was she realized that people weren't really trying to get to know her they liked her face she was very pretty and she had things that bothered her she wanted people to really get to know her but then she basically settled she basically settled to just kind of have fun and enjoy. And she even said it. She tried to get with as much people as she could. Until, of course, she met uh, Setsui, who was difficult this whole time and still is and probably will be for the rest of the series. And then she is just really enjoying him. She's She was intrigued. She was very interested in his his weirdness. And and then when they, while they're on their date, she's still thinking about enjoying the time with him. And she's just keeping keep on thinking that she wants to be with him more. She wants to just enjoy him. You know, she f genuinely feels a connection towards him. But at the same time, we had Setsui realizing that in three months, it'll all be over because she'll be moving. And honestly, I almost forgot. I almost forgot that that was the premise of this. Like, it, that she would be leaving in three months. So, I'm wondering how this is going to turn out. Overall, though very good episode i i liked it like i said it felt like an ending but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below what did you guys think in this episode what are you looking forward to in the next one and as always stay safe and thank you very much for always staying tuned and i'll catch you later Call me on the